And I don't know if you know it or not, Michigan, but Mexico took about 30 percent of your car business. Not when I was here. When I'm here, they're not. It's going the other way, 30 percent. And if we close the border, that means we're not taking those cars into our country. And what does that mean? That means you're going to make more cars right here in the good old USA. That's what it means. Right? Very simple. It's all very simple. People try and make it too complicated. It's all very simple. One of the gravest threats to the survival of the U.S. auto industry was the job-killing, sovereignty-wrecking Trans-Pacific Partnership. It was going to decimate your industry. That's why one of my very first acts in office was to withdraw our country from that horrible, potentially disastrous trade deal and stop the offshoring of Michigan jobs. Otherwise, we go to pre-NAFTA. We don't go to NAFTA, we go to pre-NAFTA. That was just okay with me. That was okay with me. A short time later, I traveled to Detroit to cancel burdensome regulations that unfairly harmed the Motor City. It was getting decimated. We renegotiated the U.S.-Korea trade agreement to double the American auto exports to Korea. We doubled them. They were not happy about it. And to stop the cheap foreign pickup trucks from flooding our market. That's your best market. You know why? Because we have a chicken tax. We have a tariff, 25 percent. And that's why it's your best market. Because they can't come in here and take away your business and take away your jobs. They weren't thrilled, but that's okay. Under my administration, we live by two simple rules. Buy American and hire American. And we're already seeing the results. Since the election, we've created more than 55,000 brand new motor vehicle and auto parts jobs in our country. 55,000. Fiat Chrysler just announced a $4.5 billion investment in Michigan, including the first new auto plant in Detroit in over a generation. And Ford has just announced a $1 billion investment just outside of Chicago, as well as additional $900 million going right here in Michigan. And I've been a little bit disappointed with them because everyone else is coming in, but General Motors did just announce a $300 million investment at its Orion assembly plant here in Michigan, right now. But I'm also fighting with General Motors and the UAW to take swift action on the GM plants at Hamtramck and Warren, Michigan, and Lordstown, Ohio. Get the damn plants open. Everyone else is coming in. Get them open now. Right? So with companies like Chrysler and Ford and Toyota and Volkswagen all investing heavily in America and heavily in the state of Michigan, we think General Motors will soon be doing the same. I really do believe it. You know, they went before my time. They went to China. They spent a lot of money building stuff. They went to Mexico. They spent a lot of money building stuff. That's not helping us much. So we think they're going to come around.